Agorami fishes are amazing freshwater fishes that are not only easy to take care of but also increases the beauty of the aquarium. The blue gourami or three-spot gourami fish is a beautiful and hardy fish that can live and multiply even in captivity like our home aquariums. In the nature they are found in several Southeast Asian countries. Typically, they inhabit lowland marshes and swamps filled with vegetation. The blue gourami has a long flattened body with large rounded fins. These fish have an expansive anal fin and needle-like pectoral fins. These fishes have a silver-colored body with marble-like stripes running all over the body. They have also two dark spots, one located in the center of the body while the other is just in front of the tail. Both the dark spots and the black eye of the fish appear to be three spots on the body of the fish. They have also a pair of long, hair-like pelvic fins in which touch-sensitive cells are located. Male fishes have long pointed dorsal fins. And the females have rounded dorsal fin and rounded abdomen. These fishes can grow up to 5 to 6 inches and can live up to 5 years. Young Guramus can be kept in 20-gallon tanks but for adult Guramus 30 to 35 gallons are recommended. Blue Guramus are quite hardy and can tolerate a decent range of parameters. Blue Gorami fishes like a planted aquarium but never keep floating plants in the aquarium since these fishes repeatedly come to the surface of water to snap air and the floating plants can hinder them. In addition to plants, you can also add rocks and driftwood to bring that natural environment, keep the water flow relatively low. These fish aren't used to strong currents. Strong filtration is important as well. These fishes are omnivores. They also enjoy live, frozen, or freeze-dried snacks. Rind shrimp, tuberfex worms, and bloodworms are all great choices. The breeding process for blue guramus can be fascinating to watch. These fish are egg layers that like to produce bubble nests. The male will create a bubble nest. Then, he'll swim back and forth to attract the female. After performing their mating ritual, the female will release her eggs while the male quickly fertilizes them. The eggs float to the top and collect in the bubble nest. Remove the female blue gourami after she lays her eggs. The male can stay behind, as he will take care of the parental duties moving forward. He'll tend to the eggs and make sure they stay within the nest. Eggs hatch in about three days. Once the babies become free swimming, you can provide infusoria.